Hey guys, um, today we have a Asus P751J. It came in here for the power jack repair. If you are at powerjackrepair.net, we are replacing power jacks on laptops for 100 bucks total and 60 bucks if you send us just the motherboard. And this is just the motherboard, so if you want to send us just the motherboard, this is how it looks like. And the way to see if your jack is faulty. This is a brand new jack, which we sell on laptopport.com, and this is the broken jack right there. As you can see, you can see pins on the broken jack, but it should look something like that. So this is not broken, and this is broken. I'm going to show you how you can replace this jack. If you can't replace it at home, send it to us. We can fix this board. We can put the new jack um, on the motherboard and it's gonna cost you 60 bucks all right now to take the laptop apart it's pretty much straightforward i didn't go into much detail of, uh, of showing that to you because um, what you have is basically a cover right here which you need to unscrew screw right here and screw right here those are the longest screw so you need to set them aside uh, all the other screws are shorter so this is the long screw here and here once you unscrew that you have to remove every single screw you see you have to pull out the hard drive to the left i will show you how i'm gonna assemble it once i assemble it together you don't need to disconnect those cables right here i mean we almost always disconnect because we think that we need to disconnect them but no don't, don't disconnect those uh, wireless cables uh, for the wireless card here let me plug them back in Okay, so that's plugged in. And uh, yeah, I the CD-ROM you have to remove after you take the top off. So basically screws here, 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 all of those you remove. All right, and then you flip it over. And uh, what you do next is you have this panel right here like that, okay? And you have this uh, keyboard playing like that. What you need to do, there is little tabs right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. You need to pry those tabs and flip the keyboard out this way. You have to disconnect it from the from the hinge right here. The way you disconnect it is you move the hinge to the left, the, the side of the hinge. Don't break this hinge because if you break the hinge, the keyboard will never work again. You disconnect the, uh, the uh, touchpad. The touchpad to disconnect by flipping the hinge upwards like that and you unscrew all the screws here one two three four five and you remove the uh, cd-rom that way so after you take it apart like that you have the board sitting right here what you need to do you need to unscrew this screw right here you need to unscrew this screw and then you have to leave this keyboard right here a little bit higher and then you pull out the board like that, so like that, forward motion. Don't take it out like that, but mostly forward, this way, because the, it, it pretty much a plug-in type, so you have to kind of like move it like that. So once you remove the board, you can either again fix it yourself or send it to us. Um, 60 bucks to fix this board, to put the new jack, and let me show you how I'm gonna put the new jack on this board. First, I want to do is I want to insulate the nearest components. And uh, here, let's see. Okay, so like that. Insulating so that they won't come off while you soldering, desoldering blowing hot air on it it's you would not be able to solder those little components back onto the motherboard if anything goes wrong so you have to insulate it like that and now you basically have to desolder desolder the jack from four pins right here okay so let me move you to the soldering chamber
All right, so now we put the new check in place. Okay. And um, what we need to do is we need to add some blocks. Okay, so we got straight new piece, installed, here is a brand new piece, come on focus, right there. And basically the soldering job is seems to be alright. Everything got penetrated from both sides. And I'm just gonna measure the amperage to see if anything shorting on the board. So yeah, let's see. Alright, so that's that's Really strange, let's see. Alright, so the board conducts down to here. 
And so yeah, the plus basically goes all the way there, but the minus does not conduct anything. Really strange. Or oh, maybe that's not a minus, that's a that's this track right here. Hold on. Yep. That's the track right here. So if this guy does not conduct electricity, it means it's right here, right there. So it's not a minus. Minus is right here basically, but this track is that pin, the center pin of your jack. Make sure not to screw it up. I'm talking about this pin right there. That's not a positive, that's just a data signal. And here somebody already screwed up the circumference. Let me try to straighten it out a little bit. Okay. Alright. Alright. Alrighty. Looks good. Okay, let's see if it's gonna connect there. Okay, let's see if the current is being conducted properly. Nothing else is screwed up. Let's see. Okay, so. No. Okay, so right here we got 20 volts. Right, right there. Alright, and right here we got how much? Okay. And like that. Huh? Okay. So, where is the minus? One. Okay, so that's the minus right here. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Okay. The minus would be... Right here, that's the minus bottom left center. Okay, sorry. I was just measuring the voltages, uh, voltage on that, on the on the pin layout. So let's see. let's plug it back in. It should go easily right in. And here what you want to do is you just want to just want to put the screw in right here. And that's pretty much it. So I'm not sure why there is no screw right there. It should be a screw right here. I'll just borrow one of the other screws. Maybe somebody screwed around with it prior to us. Okay, so now everything's secure, nice and tight. Okay, and here we're gonna put in, make sure this one is fit down, put the top cover on. Again, if you like the video, just leave a like. Um, if you're in Chicago and you could stop by, we can take care of it in about an hour. And uh, if you want something with just a tiny board, it's going to take about... Or bring just a board, whatever. I mean, whatever works for you. The job will be done in no time. So, here. Let's put this guy in here. And let's put all this goes in.
So those guys are connected and twist them to the side if possible because when they are sitting on top like that. Okay, so and we got one more extra large screw right here. So you got one large screw and then two large screw from the top uh, uh, cover. So Okay, let's see. One screw missing here because we borrowed the screw from uh, for the other purposes. Let me find an extra screw for this system. Okay, so we don't mind adding a screw if you have some missing screws, it's no big deal. I just the size has to be proper because we don't want to shove in a bigger screw in there than necessary. Okay, so here. Like that. Like that. And like that. Okay. Well, and now let's see, moment of truth, the battery is out. Here is the battery. Here is the power supply. Let's see. Let me show what I see. So we plug it in, plug it in, and nothing comes up here because the battery is out. I guess. Press the power. Right there, Asus. So everything should work. I uh, want to test the touchpad keyboard again. We are at powerjackrepair.net. And it's 100 bucks total to fix this guy. Alright, thanks so much and leave a like if you like the video. Thank you.